what's up everybody just gonna do a quick video just one trick that I found to reduce sliding in your walking animations so you can see I have this walking animation here I have this armature which dictates the deform armature that's actually inside of the mesh so I can move this whole thing around in whatever pose so let's say starting back here and then we come to the end and slide them over here so you can see now there's like a lot of sliding. He's definitely not moving that fast per step. So what I did was take this armature. So at the contact pose where the heel meets the ground we could see the grid in the background is a certain distance from here to there so then the next contact pose or the lift pose it's now this far away heel meets the ground now the heel is this far from the front of the bottom bone so we just take the difference so it came out to about six of these grids uh, squares so I know every 20 frames I need to move about six squares Go back here to the beginning, and we just pick a point. So if I go one, two, three, go to the next frame. So we can see here it's touching. So I know if it's six squares every 20 frames, my next keyframe where the legs switch. So if I look here, see it's about right there. So I want to go for my next frame, three frame, three squares, one, two, three. So the front of my base bone should be about right here and there it is and we just do that for each keyframe and this probably isn't the best way to do this I'm sure there are solutions for this but it was the first one that I thought of that I new would work. So basically what we're doing is forcing whichever heel is on the ground to move backwards at the same speed that the rest of the armature is moving forwards. So it seems like this bone is staying in place basically. Like I said, I just wanted to share that little trick if you're just starting out trying to smooth out your walk cycles. It's one way to get rid of the sliding that you can have if you're going too fast. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.